Hi, you all. This is just an informative video for the midterm and final projects associated with CHD 203, which is the Cox Campus um, preschool and pre-K track training. So I'm going to share my screen with you and kind of walk you through the process so that uh, we all know what we're doing. OK, so when you Pull up your CHD 203, your course will look like this. Of course, it comes up on the Getting Started page. So you're going to need to come on over to the content page, scroll down just a bit to where you see midterm and final projects. You will see that I have grouped them together. There's actually eight trainings, I believe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there are eight training certificates that you will earn uh, throughout this uh, semester and it will be, they will all be um, put in the grade book together for your midterm and final grade. So um, you will see that each have a different each set has a different um, due date so make sure you pay attention. These are not assignments that you can wait to the end and do or trainings that you can wait to the end and do. They are um, they can be time consuming. So do not wait to the last minute to think that you're gonna to try to get these done. So let's go ahead and open the midterm and final projects folder. Then you're gonna click midterm and final information and you're gonna come right here. Now, <clears throat> if you have never done a Cox Campus course before, you're gonna to need to register, okay? So if you'll click this underlined link, it will take you right to where you register. So once you click that, you're gonna come here and you're going to sign up, okay? Right here. Now, and this green, well, it's blue, okay? Right up here. So in the top right. So sign up. Now make sure that you write down your username and your password somewhere. OK, we are going to um, use Cox Campus throughout this entire program. So if you've already made an account, then you're good. You just log in with your current account. If you're new and you have not made one, make one and memorize it. I mean, um, write it down, excuse me, so that you can refer back to it. OK, now. Uh, this semester, you are fortunate because you're going to get paid by the Alabama Partnership for Children to actually do your midterm and final project, okay? They will be giving you a stipend, uh, $100 to $200 stipend just for completing the preschool and pre-K track. OK, now I know it says right here you must work at a licensed daycare early education facility in the state of Alabama. However, they have given permission for it to be students, okay, who are studying child development. So therefore, you can take this training and get the stipend, okay? Now, you don't just do the training on Cox campus and then a check appears in the mail, okay? You gotta do some things to get the check. So how are we gonna do it? First, you're gonna register right here, Alabama Partnership for Children .org. You're gonna use this link. OK, so you can go here, we'll come up again, click there. All right, and you are going to register. So it's called Read Right from the Start. This is the training they're doing. You can read all about it right here. OK, and I encourage you to do so. And what are the goals? Here's all the things. OK, apply now using the form below. OK, so you're going to fill this out, your first name, last name, email, confirm your email, all of the things. Are you currently working in Alabama in an early childhood education? Put yes. Here, you're going to come down. And what, if so, what's your position? You're going to put other. What ages do you teach? You can actually click all of them, OK? And under here, where it says name the child care program you work in, you're going to put other, and you're going to put Wallace or child development student. Okay, there we go, child development student. Name of the program, you're going to put Wallace Community College. Okay, Wallace Community College. Um, mailing address of the program, you're going to put 10... I'm not sure what you're going to put right there. 
Okay, I'll put that in the, um, I'll go back and put that in the incentive piece, okay? The city, I'll put all of this, okay? So I'll put you the mailing address so you can do that, okay? Um, does, you're gonna put no for the subsidy, okay? No, how many years have you worked, but how many years you've been in the program, okay? Right now, your highest uh, level is your uh, high school diploma, okay? Um, how do you write how you plan to use it, which will be to, um, you know, basically improve your knowledge in how children learn to read and the process of that, and that you will um, use the strategies that you learn in the training when you're employed in the field. Okay, how did you learn about this? You're going to learn from your college professor. Okay. I have the W-9 form for you. You can also get some more here, directions for signing your form, W-9 form. Uh, I'll give you all of that, okay? And here's where you have to mail your W-9. I would write that down somewhere. Make sure you click this, click this, submit, okay? So I'm going back to Wallace. So you see where you got to do that, okay? So let's, um, let's go back right here, okay? So Here's the W-9 and here's the how to fill out the W-9 form, okay? Um, and then I will put the address that you need to put right there, okay, down here in the, in the bottom. Okay, now, so you've registered for Cox Campus. You've, complete, you've registered for the Alabama Partnership for Children. Now, when you have to put your email address in the Alabama Partnership for Children form, make sure that you put the email address that you're gonna check, okay? And if you're not good at checking your Wallace email, don't put it there. Uh, if you're better at checking your personal, put it there because they're gonna send you some information and you're not gonna get your check if you don't follow their instructions, okay? So we'll, um, and I can, I'm here to answer any of those questions that you need, okay? So go through that and now it's time to complete the training. So you're gonna click here, Cox Campus. This link will always take you to the Cox Campus um, training site, okay? You will notice that, uh, like I said, I've grouped them together. Here's the red, okay? They're due at the same time. The yellow are due at the same time and the green are due at the same time. OK, so I'm going to click here because this is always going to take me to the training. Here it comes. Of course, you should if you need to come up here and now log in. OK, and that way it keeps up with your uh, certificates for you. OK, so you don't ever lose them. So make sure you log in. And then you're just simply you're going to see that you're going to start right here with the power of language. It's going to come across like this. It says it's going to take two and a half hours to complete this. And you're going to take the course. You're going to click take the course right here. And you're going to start lesson. And it's going to take you all the way through these lessons. You will do an end of course assessment when you get done with this. And then you'll get a certificate. Now, you're going to up. You can, up, you can uh, save your certificate as a PDF. I encourage you to do that on your jump drive or hard drive, whatever it might be. And then that way you just upload that certificate into the uh, certificate link um, for credit. But then you might also want to print out a hard copy of your certificate so that you can put it in your SLO binder, okay? Um, so two ways, you wanna save it and then also print it so you can stick it in your SLO binder. All right, so uh, I hope that answers your questions about how we go about doing the Cox Campus trainings. Uh, please don't reach out. Please reach out to me and, and don't hesitate to do so if you have more questions.